morning to one more present here. I, Anusha Koshar of Class 6, is going to declaim the speech given by Subhash Chandra Bose in the Maharashtra Provincial Conference on May 3rd, 1928. Friends, I thank for the high honor bestowed upon me by inviting me to preside over the, the deliberations of the sixth session of the Maharashtra Provincial Conference. At the very outset, I would like to point out that it is sometimes put forth by foreigners that the new awakening in India is a foreign system. I do not buy this theory. However, I do accept that the West has helped us to rub from the intellectual and moral stalker and the movement therefrom we witness today is very fallacious in its nature, scope and objective. I agree with Sir Flinders Petrie when I say that Indian civilization has gone over and over again at the end of each cycle and that is why India's holy antiquity is still young and fresh. It is being said that democracy being an occidental institution is not suited to India. This is an entirely false notion. Democracy is by no means a western institution. It's a human constitution. The Lichavis of Bihar were organized themselves into what can be termed as one of the earliest examples of republic in the history in, of mankind. In the modern Khatis of Assam, still elect the ruling chief by vote. The list is endless. I think it is necessary to warn my countrymen on the attack that is being made on nationalism from the point of view of international labor. In reply to the charge, I would like to say that Indian nationalism is neither narrow, selfish, nor aggressive. It is inspired by Satyam, Shivam, and Sundaram. In the end, I would like to say that I appeal all my fellow Indians to set aside their ideological differences and to put in their sincere effort to secure political freedom of our great country. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.